Good morning, John Malone. And good morning, Oliver. Yeah, one of your lovely paintings is again hanging on the wall. You might explain to us what exactly that's about. I will. This is a painting uh, that I did some years ago in France, not too long ago, say about two or three years ago. And it would be in Brittany, I think it might have been near a, a town, a small town, a village really, uh, called Pyro. <coughs> and uh, it was a church in a village not too far from there. <coughs> and there was a lane going down to it. Um, of course, there was, it was on the main road, but this was a, a, an area that I uh, went down. And um, it, it had a, a nice sort of a, uh, flowers on both sides, and it had a quaint French look about it. And the church said there was a couple of people coming out a door, you could go in a kind of a side door, and you went into a, 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 a not a yard, a kind of a garden, and then the church was, was further in. So uh, that, that was uh, what was where it was, and uh, I seem to be always attracted to uh, churches and places like that when I'm visiting France. And that's surprising because of the 93 million people that visit France, 40% of those, which would be in the order of about 40 million or more, actually go to visit uh, shrines and places of religious significance in that country because it has it has those qualities, not least the same as Ireland. And though we're not getting anything like the visitors to our country uh, that we could get from the point of view of the religious sites and the famous sites that we have in, in Ireland as well, okay. including the pagan parts. So there's a, uh, what France has and what France is getting from the point of view of tourists and visitors, uh, we're not getting a fraction of that in this country. Okay, so one of your other talents is singing. Uh, that's right. Well, funny enough, uh, when, when I uh, was thinking of the painting and thinking of the uh, sort of times uh, that I recall in this country when uh, it certainly we had a lot of tourists and funny enough, I think they were visiting uh, religious sites where their grand, where their fathers, mothers, maybe grandfathers, uh, were baptized and christened and went to school. So, um, and it was that kind of an area. And even in Dublin, Dublin was nearly like a town. So this was a song written by Leo Maguire. Okay. He was a a broadcaster for on a sponsored program called the Walton Program. It was on uh, every Saturday. And his famous phrase when he was finishing was, if you feel like singing, do sing an Irish song. Okay. So John Malone uh, is going to follow that tradition. Very and good. This is a song about Dublin. What's the name of the song? Uh, it's called The Dublin Saunter and it was written by Leo Maguire, uh, that famous uh, um, broadcaster of the Walton program on a Saturday when there were sponsored programs on Radio Air, as it was called. So it, it was written by by that man you just uh, mentioned, but Leo Maguire. And Noel Purcell. Noel Purcell sang it, and I think various other personages sang it as well. And John Malone now was going to sing it, and well, as I hope I'm in well, good company. John Malone, this is your X Factor moment, okay? <laughs> I've never heard this song before, so. No, well, I, I hope others like it as well. We'll have to give you a standing ovation, I hope, at the end of it. Okay, go ahead. I've been north and I've been south and I've been east and west. I've been just a rolling stone. Yet there's one place on the set I've always loved the best. Just a little town I call my own. Dublin can be heaven with coffee at eleven and a stroll in Stephen's Green. There's no need to hurry, there's no need to worry, you're a king and the lady's a queen. Grafton streets of wonderland, there's magic in the air, there are diamonds in the lady's eyes and gold dust in her hair. And if you don't believe me, come and meet me there in Dublin on the sunny summer's morning. 
I've been here and I've been there. <laughs> I've sought the rainbow's end. But no crop of gold I found. Now I know. I know that, that come what will, whatever fate may send. Here my roots are deep in friendly ground. For Dublin can be heaven with coffee at eleven and a stroll in Stephen's Green. There's no need to hurry, no need to worry. You're a king and a lady's a queen. Graft the streets of Wonderland, <laughs> there's magic in the air. There are diamonds in the lady's eyes and gold dust in her hair. And if you don't believe me, Come and meet me there in Dublin on the sunny summer's morning. Whoa, that was very, very good, John. Thank you very much. Very much. Uh, I, I think hope I have a recording contract in June. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. Thank you. Thank you.